What's going on, YouTube? This is Darren again coming at you from the Red Room. And I was so excited to be able to finally get to use my new Focusrite audio interface with my system here. Uh, but I ran into some issues, and uh, there is nothing, nothing, I say, more of a vibe killer than having technical difficulties with your new equipment. Um, so I thought I would share this with you guys uh, to help you get back to making music and being awesome like you are um, because this is just not fun to have to deal with on your own. Uh, thanks to the good people at Focusrite, I was able to get some things figured out here. So basically the issue that I was having with my machine and trying to use my audio interface is when I set that as the uh, audio interface for my DAW here, Studio One, I could not get any playback when I hit spacebar or even hit the play button. It was like the button was broke. The cursor wouldn't move. Um, it just would not play back. And then I even tried to use my audio interface for system audio overall on my Windows machine itself. And literally YouTube videos would not load and play. None of my MP3s would play on my computer. I was just terrified because it was like I just got this thing I know it should work it's brand new so I'm gonna let you in on a little secret focus right their drivers uh, sometimes they don't play nice with AMD based systems which is what mine is I happen to be a fan of AMD processors um, but if you have an AMD computer and you're experiencing the same problems what I want you to do is in your scarlet mix control go to the help uh, button there and click on the about and if you have Scarlet Mix Control 1.8 there's most likely where you're gonna start having uh, some issues um, you probably did like me you got your stuff focus right had a piece of paper in your box that said go and um, you sign up and put in your key code and all that business and download the latest software which is what I did and it just wasn't working so if you have 1.8, what you need to do is go ahead and uninstall the Scarlet Mix Control software. You know how to do that with the uninstall program. Uh, also, you want to go to your device manager, and you want to open up sound and video game controllers, and you'll right-click on your Scarlet uh, 6i6 or whatever unit you have, and you'll say uninstall. And what you'll then do is there's an optimization process that also helps to make your system uh, work a little bit better with Focusrite's uh, setup. So I'm going to show you that just real quick. One of the first things that you want to do, right click on your small speaker, click on sounds, and you'll get this box here. You want to make sure that there are no sounds selected for your Windows system. Uh, by the way, I'm running Windows 7 64-bit, just if that makes any difference to anyone out there. So make sure you have no sounds selected. And once that's done, then you want to check your power options. So you type power in the search bar, you'll pull up change power saving settings, and you want to make sure you're on high performance. Uh, that's another thing that you'll want to do. And now once you get those things settled in, then what you'll want to do is go to Focusrite's beta driver site, which is beta.focusrite.com. And over here in the right-hand section, there's Scarlet Mix Control. And you click on that, and notice you've got Scarlet 1.9, which is what you saw on my setup uh, when I opened up the help section on my Scarlet Mix Control. So down here, you want to click that, download that, install that on your system, and then what you have here is the 1.9 beta version. Now, once you get this installed, I believe it came with the drivers for the actual Focusrite audio interface itself as well. You'll want to go back to the little speaker in your bottom right-hand corner, click on Playback Devices, and you, you'll see it here. You just double-click on that Scarlet 6i6. And this is a little bit more of that optimization uh, that Focusrite walked me through. And you'll see here, I've got 16-bit 44.1, and that's the main thing. Make sure that this 44.1 or 48 or whatever you want to use matches what's in your Scarlet Mix Control. 
and these two boxes here were checked for me. And uh, the gentleman that I spoke to said to uncheck those boxes, click apply, click OK. And then one more time, we're going to do the exact same thing under the recording tab. So you'll double click there and you'll go to advanced, make sure those numbers match again, uncheck these boxes and then click OK. Um, once you have all that done, then you should not have any problems getting any playback with any of your audio um, for your MP3s or anything like that on your system, as well as the audio in whatever your favorite DAW of choice may be. And for me, that's Studio One, and I don't know why anyone else would want to use anything of lesser quality. But anyway... <laughs> That's uh, neither here nor there. I, I hope this tutorial kind of helped if you guys were running into some of the same issues as I was. And um, maybe later on I'll put together a little video about what little I understand about this mix control. I'm still kind of getting used to it myself. Um, there are other videos out there, um, but I don't know. I think that they're just not for me. I think I need something a little more simpler. So once I understand it, maybe I can kind of break it down and teach it in a way that, you know, even a simpleton like myself can understand. Anyway, uh, again, hope this helped guys and we will catch you later another time. Peace.